Okay. Now, we got the, the hair and uh, we've got the hair in the face. We've got that all color. A few little places that I missed with the hair tone. You see it when it dries. That's one thing. Just let it dry and then you can see it. All right, I'm going to take an antique gold is what this is called. And I'm going to paint this belt buckle with it. Just like that. Be a different color. Because then I'm going to do a little design on it uh, when it dries. Won't be a real intricate design, but it'll be. Uh, looks like the belt buckle is a different color. Okay. Got a little bit on the burn number, so you just take you go. Take care of that. There we go. See? Got that on our uh, belt buckle. Now, we'll hit it with a little, these eyes in here are a little hard to get used to. A little bit more flesh tone on here. I said sometimes I have to do is double coats. Alright, now I'm going to take my antique white and I'm going to take my uh, paper clip like I did last time. I'm going to dip it in there. I'll try to show you. Put that white and that in the eyes in there. With that white and those eyes right there. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm trying to show you, but it, I'm not going to, this size, it's not going to be as easy to show you over here. But we'll just kind of show you like that. We'll just kind of try to get in a position where I can show you, but it's real hard to show you. Uh, but you get the general idea of the white. Then we'll put it in the V, cut in the eyes. There you go. Now, we'll kind of show you how that looks. Okay, we'll let that dry for just a moment. All right. Now, we've just about got our cowboy just about done. I mean, he's looking. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this painting's gray. And I'm going to take my paper clip, and it's going to be hard to see this, but I'm going to make a little uh, design on this belt buckle, like it's a little steer. Just like this. And like I said, a lot of you people are a lot better, a lot better painters than I am. And see? All, all that is, just a little, like a little design, just kind of on the belt buckle. Give it a little, something like that, see? That's supposed to be, that's going to be a little steer head is what it is, but it's, you know, Bring it down just a little bit like this. Okay. Now, I told you I'm not a Leonardo da Vinci, but it don't, it doesn't look bad. Okay. Now that we've got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes in here. Just like we, we've done all the time.
Look at that. See? We've got our eyes set in. We'll let those dry. Now, what I want to do, I want to put a little, where's my black at? Here it is. I want to put a little uh, beard on him, just a, a, a little growth on his uh, face, make him look like he's... So I take my black, and, and when you do this, you really get your black real, real thin, okay? Now watch this. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to hit this area in here with that black to make it look like he's kind of got a, a, a three-day growth on there. And don't come on heavy at first when you do this. Just, just hit it lightly and let it dry and then hit it again if you need to. But what it does, sort of gives it like he's, he's got a, hadn't had not shaved in a while. What it's done. Gives it that kind of uh, look to it. And like I said, don't don't hit it hard at first. Just let it let it kind of uh, soothe on there, and wait. And you see what we've done? See how it did it? Kind of give it that that uh, five o'clock shadow on his face there. There you go. See? Kind of make it look like he hadn't shaved in a while. And do it underneath the. Thing here. There you go. Now you can take your your uh, Payne's gray, and you can kind of put just some 